Onions are one of those great crops that are harvested all at once. And while this makes them logistically easier to harvest, you're left with all the bounty all at the same time. Fortunately, they do store well, but you may need an even longer term solution. So let's go through the basics of freezing your excess onions to give you a constant supply year round. Hey, before we get started cutting up a truckload of onions, let me share with you my three secrets that you can do to prevent the dreaded onion crying. Secret number one, use a sharp knife. Cutting an onion releases an enzyme into the air that converts into a major irritant known as sulfenic acid. Using a sharp knife reduces onion cell damage and thus greatly reduces the irritant itself. Secret number two, hide any exposed sections. Simply place them face end down after you cut into them to massively reduce the irritating enzyme that's openly released into the air. And lastly, secret number three is to cool your onions prior to cutting. The cooler temperatures retard and slow down the release of the enzyme, giving you a window of reprieve to cut freely. Now that we can safely cut our onions, let's get into it and start freezing. Our first order of business is size. Specifically, how big should we be cutting our onions to freeze them? The thing to remember is, even though we are preserving these onions by freezing them, they do break down slightly. So, any onions that are finely chopped or diced will probably turn into mush. I find the ideal size is to slice my onions in half first, and then cut cross sections into about a quarter inch half rings. Really easy stuff. And after about a hundred onions, doing this for about three years, this seems to be the ideal size. Now that we know what size to cut our onions, let's talk about storage. Really, you can freeze your onion slices into any container or plastic bag. I do try to portion mine into what I would reasonably use in a single meal, but they do freeze nicely and they rarely clump together solid. So the container choice is really just personal preference. For me, my preference for containers is either deli clamshells or plastic bags. I'll use Ziploc if I have them, but more often than not, I'm just using a regular polyethylene bag with my heat sealer. If you have a vacuum sealer, you can use that too. There's no need to blanch or pre-cook your onions prior to freezing, and they can last up to 8 months in a standard freezer. Make sure to label your bags, and you can now enjoy homegrown organic onions year round without having to rely on grocery stores. And hey, don't throw away those onion end pieces. Root them in water every spring to grow even more onions for even more self sufficiency. Hey, thanks for watching, guys. If you're getting value in this and the other series that I'm doing on YouTube, hit those like, share, and subscribe buttons if you'd be so kind. And I'll see you in the next video.